Some researchers are warning that informal writing, such as text messaging, with its phonetic spelling, acronyms, and lack of punctuation, pose a threat to traditional conventions in writing. A sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. It contains two essential parts, a subject and a predicate. In this manipulative, students match the subjects to the predicates. A newborn baby's skin wrinkles because it is too large. Each year, Earth completes one orbit around the sun. The galaxy we live in is called the Milky Way. The part of speech of a word or phrase is determined by how it is used in a sentence. So color-coded parts of speech is an intuitive way to teach these challenging English usage concepts. Students sort the five sequential scrambled sentences by codes and then put them together. As they analyze the sentences, students see the function of the words and phrases or their parts of speech. Needless to say, he never got stuck in the tub again. Can you tell me about the adverbs in your sentences? Yes, very tells how overweight he was, so tells how much, once tells how often, in a bathtub tells where, out also tells where, enough tells how large the tub was, never tells when, in the tub tells where, and again tells when. A parts of speech study guide is available on our website. The final column lists questions that each part of speech answers as well as features to help students identify the parts of speech. Each level contains 18 student sets about high interest nonfiction topics. Other than the thes, which point to nouns, can you describe the other adjectives in your sentences? Hans Augusto Reyes and Children's tells which books. Famous tells what kind of character Curious George was. Reyes tells whose life. His tells whose wife. Curious George tells which manuscript. Skills card sets include a series of cards that develop skills holistically with written activities. They are superior to worksheets because skills cards can be structured to meet program objectives. Once cards have been prepared and laminated, they can be used indefinitely, reducing repetitive lesson preparation. Irregular verbs cards clarify the usage of 50 verbs that do not follow standard English patterns. At the top of each card, the tenses of an irregular verb are shown. All Reading Manipulatives writing cards are printed double-sided and laminated. They begin with a mini-lesson and instruct students on how to transfer their answers to a sheet of paper. Each set comes with answer keys and a reproducible student checklist. Cards can be done in any order and students need to track the ones they have completed. A comprehensive irregular verb tense resource list can be downloaded from our website. It contains present, past, and past participle forms for 128 irregular verbs. Complete card sets review and drill all capitalization and punctuation rules. Each capitalization card starts by summarizing a category of words that need capitals. Students must find those words and write them correctly on a sheet of paper. Punctuation cards begin with a usage summary and examples. Level A covers end of sentence punctuation, periods, apostrophes, commas, quotation marks, and colons. Level B also includes hyphens, semicolons, and parentheses. Download free PDFs for capitalization and punctuation rule wall charts on our website. 
These readable accordion style wall charts summarize all of the capitalization and punctuation rules. Posting these charts helps students to remember the rules and demonstrates that these are valued, expected skills. Another option are free student reference charts for capitalization and punctuation. These can be copied and kept in sleeves so students can refer to them as needed. English is complex and irregular, yet there are a limited number of high-frequency errors. The troublesome word cards look at commonly confused words, and the usage cards deal principally with pronoun and verb issues. The Troublesome Words and Usages resource list on our website summarizes these common grammar and writing pitfalls. You can download this and create your own lessons. Are your students stalled on AND and THEN in their compositions? This material leads them to selection of more appropriate words to join sentences and clauses. First, students read and sequence the five paragraphs. Each paragraph is a different color because they then must select from four words of the same color to fill in the blanks. Content is carefully structured to expand the variety of transitions and conjunctions that they use. This multifaceted material builds comprehension with sequencing and writing with improved transition and conjunction choices. Nonfiction content also teaches students interesting facts. Transitions come in what seems like an infinite number of varieties, but they should be used only where they belong and appear natural. The Transitions resource list on our website has a detailed listing by category. No skill is a better tool for writers than outlining. Organizing topics, subtopics, and details leads to well-structured, coherent compositions. These sets develop outlining skills in four stages. The first step in all levels is to read the nonfiction story. In the first level, the pieces are manipulatives. The students arrange them into an outline. Answer keys for all levels show proper format. In Level 2, the student writes the topics for each paragraph, and in Level 3, the subtopic details. By Level 4, students write the entire outline. The essays are structured to enable students to succeed. The unique design of the materials models outlining throughout. Students will master it as they work through the 28 sets.